Good morning, children. Pastor E here. Are you ready for today's video lesson? Remember to sit up straight. Open your eyes and your ears for today's story. After our two-part Christmas series, we are going back to our Old Testament series. And do you remember the special family that God has chosen to bless the nations? Yes, it was Abraham's and Sarah's family. Let's do a recap of his family. Abraham and Sarah had Isaac in their old age. And Isaac married Rebekah, who showed kindness at the well. Now the two of them had twin sons, Esau and Jacob. Now who was the trickster brother that tricked their father? Yes, it was Jacob. Yet, even when Jacob made mistakes, we learn that God was still with Jacob as God revealed himself to Jacob in a wonderful dream. Did the two brothers make peace in the end with one another? Yes, and we learn that God is with us even when we make mistakes. And the story continues today from Jacob's family. Are you ready to listen? The title of today's story is God Loves the Unloved The Special Untold Story of Leah God Loves the Unloved The story is taken from Genesis chapters 29 to 30 In our last story about Jacob We see that Jacob went to his uncle's Laban's house and married two of his daughters, Leah and Rachel. Today, we will learn about someone that most people do not talk about, someone that most did not take notice of, someone that perhaps we do not know much of, and that someone is Leah. Now between the two sisters, Leah and Rachel, the Bible tells us that Rachel was very beautiful and she was so much more beautiful than her sister, Leah. Because of Rachel's beauty, Jacob saw Rachel and loved her. Jacob told Laban that he wanted to marry Rachel and he will gladly work for seven years to have her hand in marriage. After seven years of hard work, Jacob was excited and was ready to take Rachel to be his wife. But Laban was quite a trickster himself and Jacob was about to get a taste of his own medicine because on his wedding night, Laban played a nasty trick on Jacob. Laban sent Leah instead of Rachel to marry Jacob. Now you may think, how can this happen? Well, in those days, it gets very dark at night and the women wore veils on the wedding night, and so Jacob suspected nothing. Now was Leah the bride that Jacob wanted? No. The next morning, when Jacob woke up, lo and behold, it was Leah. Huh? Jacob jumped out of bed and was very upset and said to Laban, What is this that you have done to me? In the end, Jacob had to work another seven years to marry Rachel. And so, Jacob had two wives, Leah and Rachel. And of course, Jacob loved Rachel more. Now, if you were Leah, how would you feel? Would you feel happy and excited? Or would you feel upset? Yes. Leah 
must have been very upset. She really wanted someone to love her. Now, who do you think will love her just the way she is? The one who has specially and wonderfully created her. Yes, God. God still loves Leia. The Bible tells us that when God saw that Leia was not loved, God gave her a special gift to bear children. And when Leia had her sons, she knew that the Lord had not forgotten her. That even when others did not love her, what mattered most was that the Almighty God looked upon her and remembered her. So Leia named her fourth son Judah, which means "May God be praised." Leia praised God and thanked God. In the end, Leia gave Jacob eight of his twelve sons. And little did Leia know that she will also become the great 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 grandmother of the special son of God, Jesus Christ, who came from the line of Judah. Wow! Even when no one noticed Leia, God took special notice of her. God loved her. And so, what can we learn from today's story? We heard the untold story of Leia, the girl that was not as beautiful as her sister and was not loved by her husband Jacob. But as unwanted as she was, someone still loved her just the way she was. And who is that? Yes, God loved Leah. God remembered and looked upon Leah, giving her a special gift of childbearing. And do you think Leah loved God back? Yes, Leah loved God, gave thanks, and praised God. We learn that God loves all of us, just the way we are. God. Loves all of us, just the way we are. Leia's story tells us that we do not need to be beautiful, or smart, or capable for God to love us. God loves us no matter who we are, because He made us and we are His. And perhaps. We can take some time to think if there are people who are like Leia around us. Maybe you have a classmate that everyone does not like, someone that everyone says, "Hey, she's weird. Don't be her friend." Or maybe you have seen people around you that no one takes notice of, or that no one wants to go near. Perhaps it is the rubbish cleaner at your block, or the homeless beggar on your street. Now, do you think God loves these people? Yes, God loves the unloved, the unnoticed, and the unwanted. God takes special care of them, and God wants us to also love them too. We learn that I can love anyone with God's love. That I can love anyone with God's love. And I hope that next time, when you see that classmate that no one likes, or that person that no one wants to go near, that you will take the bold step to give a smile and make a wave, and to tell them that God. Loves you because God loves Leia, and God loves all of us just the way we are. And lastly, Pastor E wants to give a shout out to any one of you who thinks like Leia. If you think that you are not beautiful or that you are not loved, I want you to know 
that you are loved by God, that you are precious and beautiful, no matter how you look or what you do. Today's Bible verse is from Psalm chapter 34, verse 18. The Lord is near the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Let us read this again. The Lord is near the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Do you like today's special untold story about Leah? Let us close with a prayer. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Let us pray. And you can repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for putting Leia's story in your word and for telling us that you love and notice even the unloved and the unwanted. Thank you for loving me just the way I am. Help me to love those who are hard to love that I may share God's love to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! That's all for today's story. Until next time, See you! Bye-bye!